All right, we're gonna take the Zero motorcycle out today. Uh, it's been a while since I got out and rode on this because I've just been ripping the Talaria with Anna, my daughter. So it's at 100% and 1,073 miles on the odometer. I got my full face helmet on, obviously a riding helmet. So it's a little tough to talk right now. I don't feel like taking it off, it's a pain. But I'm gonna cruise some nice back roads. It's about 5.45 in the afternoon on a Sunday and it is beautiful out, like an 80 degree sunny day. Not a cloud in the sky, except for that one right there. But it's pretty nice out and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna get out and enjoy the day before it's over. Look at that, I even have some cobwebs on the bike because it's been sitting for so long. So I put air in the tires, I put 32 PSI in the front and rear and uh, we're good to go. There's not much else to do. The thing, this bike is maintenance free. So all you gotta do is plug it in, fill up the tires and go. All right, we are at 70% battery and we're at 15.7 miles on the odometer. Now I'm in sport mode and I'm kind of flying and playing around on the back roads. I went through Thompson, Connecticut, and I saw a guy on a Kawasaki Dual Sport, and we were kind of riding together for a few miles, and then uh, we stopped at a stoplight and chit-chatted. He was like, oh, how you like those things? I kind of wanted to get one, but I wasn't ready for electric and blah, blah, blah. And then I just showed him that off the line, this thing just smokes them. And uh, a couple of cars let me pass them, so I went flying and used a couple percent doing that. But uh, this battery doesn't uh, get the mileage that it once got when it was brand new. I'm thinking this thing will probably get about, I don't know, 60 miles and then the thing's completely dead. So you don't want to get stuck out somewhere with no battery. But I went through Thompson, Connecticut. And I made my way back into Dudley, back into Webster. And now I'm going to head through Charlton and uh, do a nice big loop and come back down through, I think, Oxford and get back into Webster. So it's a beautiful day for a ride. It's probably a little after six o'clock and the thing's riding mint. I got no issues with the bike. I just don't ride it enough. That's the only issue I have. But we're gonna do a nice loop through Charlton. There's a nice trail that's really high up and has great views. I'm kind of wondering if I can use my Andobil handlebar phone mount system and get some video footage if I kind of like prop it at a vertical angle and put my phone on record. I think I'm gonna give that a try once we get to Charlton. And uh, hopefully the footage is good. I'm not sure if it's just gonna vibrate and rattle because it's on the handlebar. But we'll give it a try. All right, our battery's dying quicker than we'd like. We're at 58%, 22 miles. All in all, we got a pretty awesome ride going today. And that view is just nuts, guys.
All right, we are at 45% battery and at 28.7 miles. And I just did a couple zero to 90s, so it takes a lot out of the battery pack. And now we are at Buffumville State Park. And I'm probably about 12 miles from the house, so I'll probably be heading back soon. Not a crazy long ride. Just wanted to test the battery pack out. I've, I've been letting it sit for quite a while. Needed to get a little cycle in on it. And uh, let's keep riding. All right, guys, I'm back into town. We're at 35 miles, 35% exactly. I want to stress the battery pack a little bit more than this. So I'm actually going to go into Douglas and hit the Mid-State Trail real quick and just take down the battery a little further. Let's go do it. We made it to the Mid-State Trail, a very famous trail that crosses like the entire country. And uh, you're not supposed to go down here. It says off-road vehicles prohibited, but there's plenty of room. I could just go by. We are at 24%, 39.7 miles. So I'm to the point now where you start to kind of get range anxiety and you start to think, wow, am I even going to make it home? Do I have enough battery? You're kind of looking at every percentage and every time it drops down, you get more and more worried. It used to really freak me out, but I've been riding electric bikes for, you know, almost uh, 20 years at this point in my life. So it doesn't really bother me anymore. So it took me 11% battery to get over here. So just doing some simple math, it's gonna take me 11% to get back home. So I technically have maybe 12 to 13% to go take a, take a look down this trail here. So let's give it a try. Let's go in there for a quick little mile and then we'll see what happens. made it to the ridge trail oh man that is a little bumpy with the one hand riding little bumpy oh yeah this is a little rough water trickling it's really dark right now so I'm not really getting the best footage i did pop it in eco mode since i'm off road you don't need sport mode man because you could just the tires will come right out from under you a little safer when you're off road but that's really all we're gonna do down in the trails here i just wanted to show you these trails are just endless they go forever i mean i could come out here and ride the entire battery pack in these trails and still get lost all right guys the ride's over we made it back to the house and just like i expected it took about uh 10 battery we're at 13 percent 45.9 miles and that's about as far as i wanted to run it down today so it's seven o'clock so a little over an hour hour and 20 minute ride not too bad and there we go, zero FX, fun times. Thanks for coming along guys, I really appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe, helps out a lot.